Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the legal and constitutional challenges to Trump's deportation plan? Donald Trump's promise to carry out the largest mass deportation effort in American history is met with significant legal and constitutional hurdles. Let's break down these challenges. First, Trump's plan to deport millions of undocumented immigrants would violate several constitutional protections. The Fourth Amendment prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures, including arrests and detentions without individualized suspicion. This means that any mass deportation effort would need to ensure that each individual is treated with due process and not subjected to arbitrary detention. The Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments guarantee equal protection under the law, including freedom from racial discrimination by law enforcement. Trump's proposal to use local law enforcement and the National Guard to identify and detain immigrants raises concerns about racial profiling and civil liberties violations. Experts warn that such actions could lead to wrongful arrests, detentions, and deportations, including of U.S. citizens. Another significant legal barrier is the Posse Comitatus Act, which generally forbids the use of federal military personnel for civilian law enforcement unless authorized by Congress. Trump's plan to deploy the National Guard and military personnel for immigration enforcement would need congressional approval, which is unlikely given the historical and legal precedent against military involvement in domestic affairs. Trump has also suggested invoking the Alien Enemies Act of 1798 to facilitate mass deportations. However, this law is limited to situations involving a declared war or an invasion by a foreign nation, which does not apply to the current immigration situation. Using this law would be unlawful and would likely face strong legal challenges. The deportation process itself is also fraught with legal complexities. Each stage of the process, from apprehension to removal, has specific requirements and procedures under the Constitution and immigration statutes. Trump's plan to expedite removals without the usual legal hearings would violate these procedural protections and could be challenged in court. Additionally, diverting funds to build detention camps and expand border walls could violate funding statutes. Previous attempts by the Trump administration to divert funds for such purposes have been met with legal resistance and have been revoked by subsequent administrations. The immigration court system is already overwhelmed with a backlog of 3.7 million cases, and eliminating this backlog would require significant additional resources, including 700 more judges. Trump's plan to rapidly deport millions would only exacerbate this backlog, making the process even more impractical and legally contentious. Trump's deportation plan faces numerous legal and constitutional challenges, from violating individual rights and due process to exceeding the limits of executive authority and violating long-standing legal precedents. These hurdles make the implementation of such a plan highly unlikely without significant legal battles. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.